Hey, how's it going, guys? I just um, wanted to record this video. We're, we're going to be doing another pump. We just I just did a video on a water pump for a tower. But uh, that was in the dark, more dark, gloomy areas. It was a lot of noise. This one, we're going to do another pump. It's going to be on a, a much uh, larger equipment. And it's for a um, super center out here that we have. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that. I'll show you. It's going to be a lot brighter lights, uh, more area. It's going to be pretty cool. So I will talk to you soon. All right, we are here at the store. Uh, it's a nice day today. It's not that hot, but it's pretty windy, so if you can't hear me, apologize. Uh, this is the pump that we, this is the, one of the two towers that uh, operates this whole store, and we're gonna be working on this tower right here. So this is the rig right here that uh, takes out the pump. That's our crane right there, our electric hoist. And this is the platform it goes on plug it into power and then this is the actual pump we'll, we'll be removing today um, I already worked on the electrical part of it and that's pretty much all I've done it's 460 uh, went ahead and isolated the power so I took off the wiring took off the whip that goes in here um, I took off the water line that goes right here just like that pump right over there so I took that out. Also, I loosened the hose clamp right here um, because we're just gonna slide out this entire pump and motor all in one shot. We gotta loosen four bolts up here and then that'll separate these right here. So um, right now we isolated the gate valve. We shut the gate valve off. And then this is a check valve here. This check valve is only one directional. So what we're going to do is uh, we don't have to close this gate valve because the check valve is actually doing its job and we drained it out by this right here. We opened this up and we let it drain out. There's still water sitting sitting down in here. Um, so once we pull this out, water will come spilling out. And this, this line here is also connected to this line. So if you look on top, they're together. They join in with that top line right up here there you go all the way up here to the butterfly valve um, that's a common line right there so we could still the, the pump the tower will still operate with just that one pump right there so that's what it's doing so which is good about these you don't have to shut the entire tower down for it you just isolate them that's what I love about this versus the other video I just made um, we have to shut everything down so this one's a little bit more relaxed, um, but and still it's a lot heavier. So we will show you how we pull it out once we get all the bolts off and then crane it onto this little platform here. It's pretty cool. All right guys, let's uh, check that out. All right, now we're just taking off the, the feet, the bolts for the feet on this. And then uh, once we get all those off, I'll, we'll start taking off uh, this one right there. Hold on, let me get that in there. Okay, there we go. Need to get some muscle in there. go ahead and um, 
take this uh, motor off. There we go. Just gotta wiggle it loose. There it comes. There it goes. See how much uh, water was in there? Don't want to be in front of that. And we just gotta keep pulling it forward, back and forth to get that uh, gas out. There you go. Uh -huh. So now we're gonna take these. Also, we're gonna take these two AAA motors out here in Riverside and get these uh, rebuilt. So then we're gonna um, put the eye, eye bolt up here. We got one of those. So we can hook up the uh, our electric uh, hoist. All right, we've got our little eye bolt on there. Hooked it up, we're ready to lift it up. Okay, it's gonna drag. We just gotta watch it. Yeah, let it drag. There we go. There you go. See, it's pretty much almost a one-man job. Almost. So we're just gonna haul it out. I think we need two guys for this. Hold on. Ready? Ahead, uh, the cart was stuck uh, down here, so we got it going. So now he's just lowering it down. Got to make sure it's centered. There you go. And we're gonna leave it just with tension on there, and then we're gonna haul it. We're gonna haul it all the way around, all the way around all these solar panels to our destination. Okay, there's everything being hauled back. We're done. We're gonna go take these trip, take this pump to AAA, and uh, we'll show you. Uh, I'll film it going off the roof as well. We just kick it. Watch, you check it out. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we got this, and you're wondering how are we gonna get it over that? Well, there you are. Ramps, believe it or not. Wheels lock in there. And that's how it's done. That is how it's done. And then what we do is we hook it up to put the hoist up here and we lift it off this. Okay, so now I got the winch or the electric hoist, however you want to call it, hooked on to the um, max load limited 450 pound. So I got that attached. I attached my motor onto there, my pump. So now I'm going to lift it up. Let it swim a little, inch it up, let it swim. There it goes. Lift it past the platform and swing it out. I have the other guy downstairs parking, so swinging it out. Pull that. straight into there okay here we go gonna go down
All right, I'm gonna go up. Tell me when to go down. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Right on, that's the way we do it. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. That's the way it goes. All right, there it is. We're at AAA dropping it off. It's gonna get rebuilt. Then we're gonna pick it up on the second video on part two. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you on the next service call.